so we're outside taking our anaconda for a walk. She loves going for long walks on a leash. You act like you've never seen an anaconda go for a walk on a leash before. Soon as we put the collar around her neck, she wags her tail in excitement. We'll put a collar on her, slap a leash around her neck, and take her around the block. It's good exercise and a good excuse to get out and stretch our legs. Sometimes we take her to the park. Once there, we take the leash off and allow her to slither around and play with the children. The kids love her. Until the incident. Anacondas love playing ball. She has a pretty wicked fastball. She's pretty good. Why have children when you can have a giant anaconda? We had a child, but we traded him for this snake. Whoa, girl, those lizards aren't for eating. Snakes don't talk back, easier to raise, and you don't need to pay for schooling. Oh, hi, happy squirrel. Why don't you stay a while? We have an anaconda who'd love to have you over for dinner. Goodbye, squirrel. Hello, lunch. so the anaconda needs a quick meal. Unfortunately for the squirrel, the pool belongs to the anaconda. Unfortunately for mammals, mammals are a natural part of an anaconda's diet. Also known as water boas, these giant snakes evolved to be around water and are found in South America, including the tropical rainforests of the Amazon. Pound for pound, anacondas are the largest snakes in the world. Reticulated pythons reach greater lengths but the enormous girth of the anaconda makes them nearly twice as heavy. We take the anaconda's collar off, otherwise she won't be able to swallow her lunch. An anaconda making a quick meal of a squirrel. King of the Amazon. Good girl. The green anaconda, the world's heaviest, most powerful snake in the world non-venomous, and kill their prey by constriction. With its innate love of water, this muscular snake has an enormous prey drive and will strike at anything unlucky enough to approach the water's edge, including indigenous Amazons who become a potential meal for this giant constrictor. This man-eating monster is a true heavyweight as far as snakes go. Stay tuned. Watch what happens at the end of this video. Did you eat your squirrel, little girl? Open wide and show mama. Good girl. Who knew one day Medusa would grow to eventually be a monstrous constrictor? The squirrel was barely a snack for this giant snake.
Their eyes are on top of their head, similar to a crocodile's, giving them a goofy yet lovable appearance, allowing them to lay in wait for food while remaining nearly completely submerged. Like crocodiles, they're patient predators. They're clumsy on land due to their massive size, but in water, they're sleek, stealthy predators. You can go back inside. As we say goodbye to the anaconda, she turns to say thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe so you can join us this season for another episode of Reptile Channel.